In this video, we are going to look at Mozilla Firefox and passwords. How does it handle it? How does it save it? How you can modify it? How hackers can get into it to access your passwords? And what you should do about those passwords to help protect yourself. So let's open up Mozilla Firefox. To view any safe passwords. Now, a safe password, if you go to a particular website and you, it prompts you for a username and password, generally a little box will pop up saying, do you want to remember this information? Most people say yes. I recommend against that, but for those that are using that option, okay, go ahead and do it, but use it at your own risk. And we'll deal with that more in detail as we go along in this video. To view those passwords, click on these three little lines in the top right-hand corner. Scroll down to passwords. Here you'll see in Firefox Lockwise, this is the most recent release of Mozilla Firefox, you'll see all the passwords that you've saved. Here's the thing, any one of these passwords you can click on the little eye icon next to it and you can view the password. So is this bad? No, not really, unless somebody has access to your computer physically. So they can actually open up Firefox and see your screen. However, here's something that you might not know. Those passwords are stored in your profile. Where is that profile and what's the location? Well, here it is right here. So users, your name, app data, roaming, Mozilla, Firefox profiles. Look at the date modified if there's more than one uh, folder in here. Open up that particular folder, and there's two files that you're looking for. One is called logins.json, and one's called key4.db. These two files, if I take them out of here, I can either copy them, or in this case, I'm just gonna delete it to show you an example of what I'm getting at. All your passwords are stored in this logins.json file. And the, the, the key, the encryption key, is stored in keys4.db. Here's where the problem is. Say, for example, somebody connects to your computer in the background. They're not running anything on your screen, but you allow them to connect. In the background, they can download those two files. And now we'll assume that we're at the hacker's computer. And they open up Firefox in their computer, click on the three little lines at the top here. Passwords, you can see there's nothing in there because we've actually deleted them, or it could be their computer and they've got a new browser set up. So they take these two files, they put them into their profile folder, replace whatever they've got, open up Mozilla Firefox, go into passwords, and there's the passwords, which now they can browse at their will and access all of your websites, all of your passwords, and everything. The worst I've seen in this list, there was a few hundred saved passwords and sites with the person's information. Really bad because a lot of people are saving their banking information, which is such a bad thing to do, especially considering what hackers can do with computers these days. One of the issues I have is that with Mozilla Firefox, just clicking on the eye icon next to the password shows you the password. In other browsers, when you click on that, if your profile, in other words, your login user on your computer, so if we click on start and you see the login user here is named Steve. If you have a password on there, other browsers, when you click on the password here, it'll prompt you for that password, which is what it should be by default, which brings up the point that any user on your computer, even if you're a home user, please, please, please put a password on your account because then that gives you an extra level of security. In Firefox, what you want to do to enable this is go into about config in the address bar at the top here. Just accept the risk when it comes up with that screen. And the particular command that you want to type into the search preference name here is that one. Sign on dot management dot page dot os dash auth dot enabled. You see the default is false. Let's change that to true. Close down Mozilla Firefox and we'll reopen it because that allows the change to take effect. Now we'll go back up into the three lines, passwords. You can still see all the passwords listed here, but what we're gonna do is click on the I. There we go. Now it's prompting you for your login password. If you don't know your password, you're not gonna be able to view that particular password. But in this case, I just typed my login password and there we have the actual password. So if you've forgotten a site, uh, password for a particular website, this is a great way to get it. You can also click on these three little lines here and you can export all your logins to a CSV file, but bear in mind that is a readable file that anybody can access and get all your information. There's something in Mozilla Firefox which is a really handy feature, which begs the question, 
Mozilla, why, why, why did you not enable this by default? And it's called a primary password. It used to be called a master password. So if you click on the three little lines again, we'll go down into settings, privacy and security. If you scroll down here, you'll see there's an option under logins and passwords called use a primary password. This is not available in other browsers, but is in Mozilla Firefox. And this is a key, key thing to have. So because we enabled that previous setting the, in the about config, it's prompting us for our login password to make this change. So we're gonna enable it there. So now here you have what's called a primary password. So let's type a primary password here and retyped it again just for verification. So we go okay. So now we have what's called a primary password. So if we close our browser down, reopen it, we go back into our passwords field here. Have a look at this. You don't even see the websites listed in your passwords list until you type in your primary password. And if you don't know the primary password, good luck getting in. But does that really work? Well, let's have a look. We'll go back to the previous location in our profiles folder. Into the current profiles and we'll get the keys file and the login file. Let's again, just remove those just for now, we'll paste them onto our desktop, open up our web browser, go into passwords. See, it's not even prompting me for a master password at this point because I've taken out the logins.json and the key4.db file. So it's not even prompting for that. If the hacker came onto your computer and he grabbed this information now, Let's get back into our profile folder. And the hacker comes along, grabs those two files from your computer, thinking he's outsmarted you. Open up Mozilla Firefox. Go into the passwords and have a look. You now have to still enter your primary password because it's encoded or encrypted within those files which gives you an extra level of security. Which is why I'm asking the question of Mozilla, why is this not enabled by default? And if you're not using it, people, and you are using Mozilla to save your passwords, please, please enable that by default. But more importantly, what I would recommend is use a third-party password manager like LastPass, and in Mozilla Firefox, do not remember any of your passwords. Don't give them that little window they, that they could possibly use to hack into your computer. If you go into your passwords options, remove everything from this list. Once you know what they are and you made a copy of it so you, you're not gonna forget what your passwords are first and foremost. Go into your settings and under privacy and security, go through all the different options in here and where it says login and passwords uncheck all the boxes in here. Use a primary password you can leave checked because you're not gonna be using it anyway and it just uh, fools people to wasting their time, the hackers, because there's nothing there for them to get. But uncheck all of these other boxes that ask to save logins, passwords for websites because you don't wanna save them. Use your third-party password manager such as LastPass. That'll definitely secure your computer and give you that extra level of protection. Now, why am I dealing with this? In the last month or so, I've had numerous clients, I would say at least 10 that have called me up, their computer's been hacked, their banking information has been compromised and they've had money stolen from their account. A couple of years ago, I had one particular one where they had over $60,000 stolen. Because they had connected back to their computer with those fake warnings about your computer's been compromised, don't turn off, phone this number. Don't ever phone those numbers. But people do because you panic. And what happened? They got these files, they got all their password information, and away they went and went to town with the person's bank accounts. So first thing you wanna do is change it so that Firefox is not saving your passwords. But if it is, please go through these settings, enable the primary password, change that authentication to be enabled so that it prompts you for your login password. Make sure you have a login password on your computer. And by the way, for those that want to argue the point, Mozilla Firefox password management is far superior to Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge at this point. But we're in a browser war, so tomorrow 
it may be different again. But right now, this is what you want to do. Hopefully, folks, this has been of use to you. If it has, please do take a second just to subscribe to the channel. Click on the alert button to be notified of any new videos that I'll be releasing in the coming days. And above all, stay safe out there. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.